Hey guys, what's up? How are we doing? In today's video, we have a full face of new makeup, new arrivals at Sephora, new things in general. Um, I'm going to give you mini reviews on these products since I've used them and tried them for a minute. And that's it. If this is your first time passing by, I am Gigi. I love to talk about new makeup releases. If you love that kind of content, click it on there where it says subscribe and also go to my other socials for a little bit more beauty. And without further ado, let's begin. Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about some new makeup, new goodies, we're going to be trying them out and I'll give you my thoughts on the products if I already mentioned them in a prior video. I am looking a little darker because I just came back from the salon and I want it dark. That blonde hair was driving me insane because for me it's like I love the platinum ashy blonde. I don't really like like too much of a warm tone. And last time I went, I went warm. I told him like I want caramel. Um, some of you commented and said you look so good, but to me, I don't know. I could not, I could not do it. So now we are very toned, but it'll wash off a little bit. I still have my highlights under here. Um, and yeah, that's it. Let's move Let's on. Let's talk about Ilia and their the base face milk. This is a hybrid toner and um, hydrator. It is a lightweight moisturizer barrier removal complex. Guys, like I had it for a week and I am, I'm, I'm making a huge dent. I'm actually using it every single day and it is a very milky moisturizer. Um, that's it. So this is so hydrating. It is so quenching to the skin. I have loved it all week long. They kindly sent it to me. Uh, thank you so much, Ilya. I love this. I love it so, so much because I do really feel like it has help repair my skin barrier. Um, I battle with hormonal acne. I've mentioned that multiple times. So I'm always fighting the retinols and then the aftermath of that and then the peeling and then the flaky skin. And this just feels so incredibly hydrating. It is a beautiful base for makeup and it is non-comedogenic, so it's not gonna congest my already congested pores. It is a beautiful makeup base. So yeah, I've used it every single day for a week and a half ever since they sent it and I've been we loving it. We have a new base to try and it is from Barberry Beauty and they released their Beyond Matte Perfecting Matte Foundation. This is a 24 hour active wear, long lasting foundation. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say. This is our foundation and the packaging is absolutely beautiful. I have another Barberry foundation, which is the glowy one. Um, and I have the shade 60 medium warm and this is actually so warm. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be my shade, but other than that, I also have to add, I already tried it, and this is a matte foundation. It is so, 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 so matte. Um, but it doesn't cling onto my dry patches or anything like that. So there's good and bad. If you like a matte foundation, I think you may really like this. Really, really great coverage. So we'll do one side. It is a little warm for me, but I mean, we have to just do what we need to do. I also have to mention that it has scent. It has a very floral scent. So if you're sensitive to that, know that because it is very present. So this is what she blends out to be. I feel like you have to be really well prepped, especially if you have like combination skin like me or if you have dry skin even more. Um, but she has a beautiful finish. I was very glowy underneath. We're gonna let it sit a little bit more, but this is the glow that I had from the milk, um, from the milk product. And then this is, let's actually try to even everything out on this side. I don't love the sheet match though. Um, and I don't know if I should do 
um, just um, a review on this foundation so let me know if you're interested I could totally just wear it and then show you I don't have time today I just want to show you the goodies that I've got but yeah so this is it it is a very nice very matte foundation now again I'm looking glowy from that milk base but I promise is is way matter than this I I wore it on the weekend. I actually wore it two weekends. I had this sitting here for a minute. So again, if you wanted to know my thoughts, let me know because I'll be willing to just create a full video about the foundation. But it wears so nice, you guys. It really, really does. If you have oily skin, I think this is going to be one beautiful foundation. Now, a new concealer from Fenty Beauty. I did a full review on this and I am loving I'm loving this concealer. I love the medium buildable coverage. I love the finish. It is a perfect all over concealer. Like I could wear it all over my face without any worrying. And it doesn't look heavy or cakey. It is very nice. I did a full day of wear. If you wanted to see my thoughts, I'll link that video up in the cards above. But just back here to say that um, this concealer is totally a keeper. It has buildable coverage. Can you see that glow? It is very hydrating, but it it really behaves so good. I do have to build it up if I wanna achieve that full coverage, but I do not build it up on a you know everyday kind of basis to be honest i only will do just that one layer that you saw me applied and i'll be good to go but just for the sake of today's video i wanted to show you the finish and you know the coverage so this is it i have been loving this concealer so much let's do a little cream contour nothing new just from lys I really like this shade and how creamy um, these balloons. So good. Great. Now we are going to be applying one of these e.l.f. camo concealers. These are new from e.l.f. Um, e.l.f. camo liquid concealers. And I have three shades here. I have these three shades. For some reason, I ended up with the palest shades that they carry. I don't know how that happened, but um, we have Peach Perfect, which is that one. We have Dusty Rose. I mean, I guess I was going for the most wearable ones. So let's swatch those Dusty Rose. It really looks peach to me. Then we have the Peach Shade, which is so light. I don't think I can even make this work. And then we have, um, what's this, very well. And this is the most, of course, pigmented. So I think we're gonna use, um, so let's use Dusty Rose because I am super basic. And I did pick up the blush brush. It's so, so good. It is very, very highly packed. But I used it this morning with a berry shade and I don't I, I don't think, I think it's just gonna show through. So I wanna actually um, to show you what this one looks like. This compared to Rare Beauties, they do, but I feel like these are just less pigmented. With Rare Beauties, you only need like one little dot. With these, you know, depending on the color that you pick, you have to build it up. At least I have to on my complexion. But this is similar to Rare's um, dewy blushes. You know how Rare has matte and dewy. So this is going to be equivalent to the dewy. But look at that glow. Mm -hmm. I'm glowing to the goddess. And I haven't set my face. So we shall do that right this second. So I'm gonna set just everywhere because I like this everywhere. Um, I know I'm killing a little bit of the shine from the blush, but only like a little close to the concealer. 
So I'm gonna leave that like it is so that you can see the finish. And I don't think I have a highlighter to use actually. So we're just gonna go like this with no highlighter today. But yeah, those e.l.f. Camo liquid blushes are very, very good. So I went ahead and filled in my brows with a pencil from Raw Beauty. Now we're gonna set them with this ABH gel. I did a review on this if you are interested. But if you are one that likes your brows to be like set or if you have like really bushy brows and you have a hard time you know um making them stay in place i think you really really like this this is very stream hole i like it i really like it probably not for everyday use but i do love that it just holds your brows so so good so yeah so from victoria beckham i hold a few things over on the holidays and i picked up these um her lit luster in the shade t rose which is this one here i haven't tried it and i really want to do that today since we don't really have any eyeshadows to test out i thought today was the day. really enjoyed these one and done shadows from her. I literally would not apply even nothing on my crease. I did wet in my brush. I like to wet my brush when I use them because of the fallout. But these sheets have so much dimension. Like you apply it and then it looks like you have you know two different shades one in your crease and then one on the outer v but when in reality you only have one of these so i love this this color is beautiful All right, friends, so I finished off my eyes. I pretty much just did mascara and a little bit of illuminator in my inner corner, but that's it. Last but not least, I wanted to talk about this new Hourglass um, Shape and Sculpt Lip Liners. I picked up two shades. I got shade three and shade four. So we're gonna be doing some swatching. I believe I showed you one shade in my prior video and I said I was going to show you the other. So this is what they look like. These are the two shades that I got. So let's swatch shade four first. You can see it's very pigmented. It is a one swatch kind of thin. It is super, super creamy. And then this is gonna be three. So four, just a little bit deeper as you can see. Um, and three is pretty much my lips but better these are very long wearing i was i was greatly surprised but you have to be mindful if you prep your lips prior to applying this these will transfer so say if i had a lip balm or something and that's why i took it off if i have a lip oil or whatever i usually have a lip oil to prep my lips for you know the makeup um, if you have something like that and you apply this, it's going to transfer. So you have to have bare lips. And I wanted to mention that if you want this to be transfer proof, because these are very long wearing. You see how this just glides? It is very creamy. So I'm gonna leave it like this and then I'm gonna show you how it doesn't transfer. By the way, in the little box you get a little sharpener. So this is the shade, it is very, very pretty. Super, super beautiful. It is the perfect shade for medium complexions if you wanted to really like contour. Now let's do a little kiss, look. They do not budge. You, tr you like once you put them on they stay put they're very long wearing but again if you go ahead and add an oil or whatever at top then that's it it is going to transfer so be aware i am now 
I'm going to apply it all through on my lips so you can see the color. Look how beautiful. Extra, extra pretty, extra matte. When I would totally apply like a gloss atop, you know, to change the finish, but because this isn't hydrating by no means, right? It feels really matte. So now I'm gonna apply clear gloss from Star 28. These are so glossy, look at that. So good. And if we do the transfer again, you see it transfers, right? So little by little, it will transfer, not completely, but um, yeah, they're not gonna be as transfer proof as if you leave them completely matte. So this is it. This is our completed makeup look. This is our complexion looks like, like check this elf blush out is so glowy and it's not extremely sticky i'm not gonna say self sets because it does not but it's a sticky that it doesn't bother me i'm okay with this like it looks so juicy so plumping so i really like it i really like dusty rose that's my favorite shade because hello is super neutral um now the barberry foundation i don't know i'm still like testing it out i think that it is a little bit too matte just a little matter that i'm used to i usually go for like natural mattes not like full-on matte and this is like full-on matte it doesn't look it because again i prepped really well under i had that ilia milky product which i told you i'm loving um and i really like it as a makeup uh, primer so yeah those are my thoughts on these i already told you how much i've been loving it Fenty's concealer. I wear it all over my face and this is also non-comedogenic so it's not gonna congest my pores. Yay! That's always a plus so I love that. Um, the gel from Anastasia is also very nice. I really like Tea Rose. I think it's a very beautiful and sexy rich shade from Victoria Beckham and then I've been loving. I've been loving these guys from Hourglass. That's it friends. Those are all the products that I wanted to feature in today's video. Let me know in the comments have you tried any of these do you have more questions about any of these did you want to see this in action let me know below thank you friends for watching i love you all so much and i'll catch you next one bye